What's good, y'all? It's your boy AJ. Welcome back to another Nukes Top 5. In this one, we got top 10 scariest ghost videos of the year. Now, again, mark your calendars April 29th, your boy's birthday, man. Comment down below how old you think I'm gonna be turning. And if you get it right, you get a shout out, man. So, and I got something very special planned for you guys, man, on the 29th. So, it's gonna be a real treat. So, yeah, man. So, without further ado, man, let's get it. What y'all snacking on? Let me know down in the comments below as well. Top 10 scariest ghost videos of the year. I've been getting many requests for our quote scariest clips from all of the top five lists. So I figured that this would be the perfect time to feature some of my personal favorites from the last year. And I'll also tell you what I thought was particularly terrifying about each one. And in some cases, a few extras that weren't in the original video. So turn off the lights, go full screen, and let's get to it. I can't turn off the dorm lights. Dorm room ghost. A student at Texas A&M University claims that his dorm room was so intensely haunted that he had no choice other than to just move out. <laughs> I bet. Oh. What was that? Ooh. Bro. Man, they got, you got a lot on your plate right now, bro. Oh, oh. Bro, you going straight in there? What's in the tub? That's not a pocket of belief, man. Now, whether you believe this video is real or simply an elaborate hoax, I've yet to hear a plausible explanation for how that flying mattress effect could be achieved. Oh, I didn't even see that. So the video definitely deserves its spot in the top 10. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Playhouse Ghost. Phil Koch usually investigates haunted places along with his group, the Wisconsin Paranormal Society. But on this investigation of the Alchemist Theater in Bayview, Wisconsin, Bill decides to go it alone to investigate the allegedly very haunted playhouse. This is the theater. That's look terrifying. The camera's set up in this corner here. And uh, I'm just gonna sit. We got a furnace running, so there's sound, but I'm just gonna sit and uh, listen. And just let the camera grab. Just let the camera roll. And uh, I know there's a lot of bad energy in there. Let's see what happens. And it's cold. Move behind me. Jeez. That is insane. Something just moved behind me. Jeez. Okay. Bill catches a theater chair that seems to unfold all on its own. He's slightly disturbed by the occurrence, but it's nothing compared to what he finds in the hallways of the theater's creepy basement. They got a basement? 15. I haven't up. heard anything yet. I haven't even gone back yet to check on the on this prop in there. I keep hearing things walking around, but that's probably tenants upstairs. So, like, it sounds like from upstairs, but Still, it's uh, 125. Still haven't heard anything besides random creaking. 
Hello? Anybody in here? Why don't you introduce yourself oh, like that? Some people upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look, see if this prop is still back here again. And we'll take a look. Hey, what's on. that? See if this prop is still back here again. And we'll take a look. It opened by itself? That's Come wild. on! That, that's not cool! <laughs> that door open? No, the door was open. That door was closing. If anybody's in there messing with me, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, that looks creepy. Hello? Okay, I don't see anything in here. Hello? Hey. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I was thinking about that, bro. I was, I called it, bro. I was thinking about that. Yeah, it's time to get up out of there, man. Don't fall. Woo. Camera, cameras. Out, out, out. Ooh. Camera, cameras. Out, out, out. Understandably, Phil Cotts didn't do many ghost investigations after this video. <laughs> yeah, I bet. In my opinion, this is still one of the creepiest and perhaps the funniest ghost clip we featured this year. The House of Khalil. I featured Jordanian explorer Ehab Kasmia in another video, and for good reason. He has some of the creepiest ghost hunting videos online. In this video, he is investigating a place he calls the House of Khalil. As the story goes, a man named Khalil went insane and did away with his entire family in this house That's messed up. ending his own life. That's it messed is said up. that Khalil's spirit still haunts the home. As he explores, Ahab begins to hear strange noises. And then this. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-tamat min sharri ma khalaq. Ya, kul ishi. Ye, 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 ye. Ahab sees something that looks like a person peering through the window. But when he runs inside to check, nothing. But the creepy occurrences don't stop there. Wan bi hai al-mawaqif, bitkoon al-shagli ya gatil ya maktul. Taba'an a'udhu bi kalimati. Oh. You went to a dead end. Bismillah. Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ahab doesn't even seem to notice some of the bizarre events that he catches on camera. At one point, it actually looks like a face is peering at him through a nearby window. Bismillah. Oh, I saw that. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ahab decides to leave and investigate another abandoned house that is directly upstairs from the first one. But he feels like the ghost or jinn of Khalil might have followed him. As he investigates the house, he begins to feel like he can see something working behind him in the mirrors. I didn't see anything. Where the heck did you come from? Don't talk to it. Ah! Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-Tamat. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-Tamat. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-Tamat. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 
Bro, stop playing with the light like that, bro. Bismillah <laughs> ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And after that chilling experience, Ahab decides to just make a quick exit. That gave me the Since chills. Ahab's video was featured, his channel has gained over four times the subscribers he had originally. Congratulations. He's now at 220,000 subscribers. Congratulations. I've seen many supposed supernatural channels trying to fake or imitate his Ghost in the Mirror video, but none match up to the downright chilling original. Can't be the original. Unwelcome guests. This next clip was sent in to me by John Plymel. He says that he and his friend Alan were checking out an abandoned farmhouse near his grandmother's home in upstate New York. As you can see, the house is isolated. It sits in the middle of nowhere on a barely traveled back road. The outside looks like something right out of a horror movie. It does. And the inside is no better. The house is a death trap, full of rot and mold. The upstairs floor is so rotten the two are afraid to even try to venture up the stairs. <laughs> and the basement is piled with garbage. Yo, I guess that's the basement. That's the basement? Yeah, that's disgusting. What it's just piled with trash. Don't go down there, please. No more rocks but down then, there. then, they hear something upstairs. You're hearing that, right? Like random footsteps? Somebody was up there, they would fall through. Bro, I'm getting cold. You can see Yo. Ooh. That shit. I'm going through the bathroom. Oh, run. Run. Woo. Woo. Ow. My man's out of there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They still screaming? Now, it's interesting to note that one of the boys mentions that the floor is so rotten that if someone were upstairs, they would fall right through. Because when I was watching the video, I noticed this. It would fall through. Bro. Now, you got a good eye. Through one of the narrow, rotten holes in the floor, it almost looks like someone is staring down at them from above. Or maybe it's just an optical illusion. Either way, the boys did not return to investigate further. Good. Bro. The fact that John didn't see this strange eye peeking at them at the time, or even when he watched his own video back later, makes the clip especially unnerving. Hider in the house. A man is hired to remodel an empty house for resale. But as he works, he begins to hear strange noises coming from somewhere inside. He suspects that a squatter might have taken up residence in the empty home. Doing this cabinet crown. And I think there's a squatter in this house. I think it's in here. Hello? Oh, don't go down there. That looks creepy. Hello? Did he turn off the lights or did it do it by itself? Hello? Anybody here? Hello?
Hello? Whoa, the wire is moving by itself and the door open. Hello? Woo! Woo! Don't go down there. It's leading you down there. Don't go down there. Who is it? Oh. <laughs> Throw a rock down there. You gonna drop the camera? Oh. Oh. Bro. Eventually, a man works up the courage to come back and retrieve his dropped phone. Well, he says place. that he will never go back inside the house again. He claims Polk. There is something evil in that home. Whether there's something evil in the house or not, the suspense in this video keeps you on the edge of your seat right till the end. So that's why it earns a spot in the top 10 scariest ghost videos of the year. A place of nightmares. Over a six month period, Colombian Twitter user Don Paramo recounted a very chilling story which took place in his new apartment. Paramo's spooky Twitter tale starts when he moves into a new apartment with his cat Octavio. Octavio. Octavio, salude. Hola. He was amazed that he had been able to find such a spacious, fully furnished apartment with a private balcony for such a low price. But things the reason soon took a turn toward the bazaar. His cat Octavio, who is usually very friendly and gentle, Becomes withdrawn and aggressive. Uh oh. <laughs> Paramo finds objects move from one place to another. Why would you get that starts dog? to hear bro. strange sounds at night, especially in his bedroom. Me he olvidado contarles lo de la cama. Resulta que me mudé acá y pues, como les dije, habían los muebles. Estaba esta una cama de cedro. Y resulta que dos veces me Somebody snore next to you. Porque escucho que alguien ronca durísimo a mi lado. Y pues cuando me despierto, pues obviamente nadie puede estar roncando porque pues porque vivo solo. Pero los ronquidos se escuchan durísimo. Don Paramo even says that sometimes he wakes up feeling as if someone has nudged or touched him in his sleep. He talks to a neighbor and learns that a mentally disturbed man named Tito passed away in his apartment. Oh, time to move out. He died in the very same bed that Don Paramo has been sleeping in. The man's body wasn't found by the landlord until weeks after his death. By this time, on his Twitter account, Don Paramo has built up a large following. After many audience requests, he decides to do a live Periscope stream from his apartment. What happens on the live stream shocks everyone viewing to their core. First, everything is going fine. Don Paramo gives a casual live tour of his home. But three minutes into the stream, things take a turn towards the horrific. Y más cosas. Y lo otro que encontré nuevo fue como un, un hueco que hay en la parte en la parte de afuera, por la parte de la terraza. Hay un hueco que no sea did you see it? Uh, I did Watch see it. Again. Large figure. Taller than me. As Don Paramo passes by his bedroom, someone or something seems to be lying in his bed. Something dark and terrifying. Paramo doesn't even notice and continues his house tour. Later, when he returns to the bedroom, Bed is empty, and there is no evidence that anything was ever there. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. No, no, acá no hay nada. Pues Octavio estaba aquí, pero se salió nada más. Yo salí. Bueno. Don Paramo's story about the strange feeling that someone was sleeping next to him, and then this dark shape in his bed, makes for one of the creepiest stories 
and one of the strangest live feeds I've ever seen. Okay, there he is, in the window again. Oh. Oh! Bro. Went under the bed. And he's just so casual with it, like, bro. I would have sold the house, bro. I would have sold the house for a charging block. I'll keep it furnished. Here. You just take your charging block, you can have the whole house. Now if you're wondering why Kent's reaction is so casual in a situation that would absolutely horrify most of us, well, he says he's had hundreds of these bizarre hundreds? encounters while living in his haunted home. Bro. Hope you guys say something. Or so something. you want to oh, what the freak is that? God. No. Oh. To see all of Kent's ghost investigations, check out his channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Bro, he wants to live with those. Cage. In the small town of St. Osith in Essex, UK, there is a very old abandoned prison called oh, The Cage. The prison creepy. is unique in that for over 400 years, it served as a jail to confine and execute women convicted of witchcraft. Paranormal researcher Brian Mack and his crew went to the site to perform an investigation into the supposed supernatural activity in the prison. While there, the crew said that they heard strange footsteps and whispers lights turned on and off by themselves and members of the crew were bitten or pinched by something that they couldn't see the experience was so frightening that some crew members actually refused to continue with the investigation but the creepiest and most bizarre experience of all came when brian mack's team attempted to perform a seance while brian observed from the other room face has completely changed doesn't even look like a person Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. As the seance begins, one of the women's face seems to transform and contort in a horrifying way. Her nose seems to grow and her mouth curves into a bizarre, inhuman grin. I knew I wasn't tripping. I knew I'd seen that. This completely changed. Doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. The researchers become worried and call the woman out of the room. It was later found that even though the woman had been wearing several layers of thick clothing, she had a bizarre burn mark down the back of her neck. Ooh. After the investigation, the woman says that she had horrible nightmares and experienced strange things around her home. As for why this video was included in the scariest videos list, well, this face. And I think that's all the explanation needed. Yeah, it is. When horror becomes horror. This next clip was sent in to me by Andrew Barahona, a filmmaker for Board Film Studios. Andrew was filming a scene for a horror movie in the historic and allegedly very haunted Doña Ana County Courthouse in New oh. Mexico. In the scene they are filming, the actress Chelsea is meant to be acting overcome with fear. Because in the movie scene, a killer is supposed to be stalking her through the building's hallways. But acting frightened soon turns into very real terror. Oh. Wait, 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 turn the light on. Oh, the filmmaker and the actress are the only ones on the third floor of the courthouse, but suddenly a startling and very real door slam can be heard from somewhere nearby. <sighs> then both of them hear some very odd whispering that sounds like it's chills. right in the room with them. And so at the time, I had the camera in my hand, and I almost reacted immediately when I heard it. It was like it was next to me. And so uh, she said she saw something behind me, and we just booked it. What'd she see? 
Now, of course, since this clip came from a professional filmmaker, I was especially skeptical. But I think the footage, along with their very believable reactions, speaks for itself. A terrifying tour. This next video is especially unique because it doesn't involve your typical group of ghost hunters. This video was taken by Adelaide's Haunted Horizons Ghost Tours. Or ghost this tour group is exploring the supposedly haunted Talem Town Church in South Australia. Australia? The people that you see in this video are all random tour participants, not paranormal researchers. They have no reason to fake their reactions. So, first the tour group's camera and light batteries begin to drain mysteriously. Then very strange things begin to happen to the tour participants. just a bit unstable or perhaps having a bad day well he's not the only tour member who has a very frightening experience to stop tours completely that way, I guess it come back. because What's it would spoil the game it's time to go man tours over as well. Well, we can either keep going or we can call it a quit. No, call it tour is over. Yeah, call the quits. Yeah, it's what we signed up for. This is quite an active time in the Later in the video, in another area of the church, a tour member says he feels like he's been hit hard in the shoulder oh. by some unseen force. Unfortunately, the camera only catches the audio of the event. <laughs> Oh! What? What? That's my shoulder. What? That shit. Oh, jeez. Okay. It was not like you last time. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, that, that, like, shoved me forward. Did it? Yeah. I heard the lock behind you. He has a scratch on you. Where's the still camera off? I don't know. It should be up the front. Where is the scratch? On my shoulder. See this here? Yeah. Look how well it shows up on this. Oh, yeah. Just trying that photo. Yeah. That's going to be better than. Uh, That's crazy. Oh, Look at that, Ryan. Oh. Are you sort of freaked out by that? Because I'm like really. <laughs> Jesus. But in the end, uh, no worries. All of the ghost tour participants made it out okay. Good. Now, none of these people were so called professional ghost hunters. They were simply tourists. So they had nothing to gain from acting scared. Making this video one of the most believable pieces of paranormal evidence I've ever seen and earning it a top spot. So that's the top 10 scariest videos of the year. As oh, always, man. I'm certain. I bet they paid for that too. I bet they paid a hefty penny to, to participate in that. Ain't no way, bro. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button because it's absolutely free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.